Hey everybody, welcome back to The Right Line. I'm Chad, this is Joseph, my son, and today we're going over just how easy it is to install the MXT 275 from Midland Radio. first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up this box and take everything out of it and see exactly what we've got inside. The MXT275 is Midland's perfect radio for easy installation. They really don't want you to get into this. Oh, it's really not that bad actually. All right, so what we've got in this box is the MXT275, and this is probably one of the, gonna be one of the easiest installations that you will do. This is the Midland uh, microphone. It's got all the controls on here, and we're gonna go over that in just a little bit. We've actually got the factory, or basically the stock antenna that comes with this radio, radio kit, and the installation of this is super, super easy. Next up on the list is the uh, power. Now this is nice because it's just gonna plug straight into the cigarette lighter or power uh, auxiliary power port in your vehicle. And then we just plug this into the radio. Got the microphone holder here, microphone holder. This is gonna be placed someplace on the dash where you can hold your microphone. And it's actually got an adhesive backing on the back. So you just peel this off, stick this on someplace and hang your microphone on it. And the meat and potatoes. This is the radio, the head unit, really, if you will, of the radio. Super easy to, to install. Here's the bracket. Here's the cord. Microphone plugs in here, and we have a USB charging port on the front. All right, so what we are gonna do to show just how easy this radio is to install and how quick it is to install with everything that came out of the box I'm gonna install it. Joseph is gonna install it. And we're actually gonna install it in my wife's car. And the nice thing about this is, is we don't have to change the car at all. Because if we did, we'd have to yeah. sleep in the backyard, right? Yes. All right, so then what we're gonna do is, while Joseph is installing it, we're gonna put a timer under the camera and we're actually gonna time how fast Joseph can install it. Now, Joseph, have you ever installed any kind of radio before? Nope. CB radio? Nope. Ham radio? Nope. Anything electronic? Nope. All right, perfect. All right, so to be fair to Joseph, since he's never installed any kind of radio before, I'm gonna go over all the components with him and we're gonna talk about where they're gonna go in the car. All right, Joe, right there, that is the radio's head unit. Now that's gotta be mounted someplace flat in the car where it's gonna be easy to get to all the connections. Okay. Red and black wires. Now. The white connection on that wire harness is gonna go on the back of the radio. It's gonna plug right in there and only goes together one way. That connection right there is gonna go into the auxiliary power port in mom's center console. Okay. The magnetic antenna there, Joseph, it doesn't really matter where that goes, as long as it goes someplace magnetic and there's enough of that cable to reach the back of the radio. And I'm guessing this plugs into the silver port on the back. Plugs right into the back of the radio. Okay. All right, next on the list, is the microphone holder. Now that's got an adhesive backing on it. We peel that off, we stick that someplace on the car. We're not really gonna stick that on mom's car because if we do, we're gonna have to end up having to sleep in the backyard. But that attaches to the back of the microphone and that's how you're gonna hang the microphone in your vehicle after you've installed it. Got it? Yeah. All right, now lastly is the microphone. That is where all of the controls go. Now, on this microphone, you can make all the adjustments to the radio, and you can even access the weather channel, which we're gonna go over in another video, but that connection right there, that's gonna go into the front of the radio right there. Okay. Fair enough? Yeah. Easy? Yeah. Think you can tackle it? Yeah. All right, let's do this. Joseph, now, this isn't a race to just to see how fast you can put it in. It's really to see how easy it is to put it in and how little time it takes. Okay. Okay? The idea here is also we want to make the installation look clean. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, now. Started now. So again, 
trying to make this installation look clean. Joe's got all of the radio stuff in his hand there. Joseph is an installation pro here. First radio installation. All right, he's connected the uh, wire harness to the back of the radio. Radio is gonna sit there in the cup holder, looks like. Oh, there goes the coaxial cable. He's got that screwed in there. Uh, doing really pretty good. You know, of course, if you've got really some time and you're doing this over the weekend like I did in my previous video, uh, I solidly mounted it into the car and I hard hardwired it into my Rough Country MLC6. So it's more of a permanent installation. Okay, he's got the microphone. Waiting for the click. Oh, heard the click. All right, very good. All right, now he's going for the 12 volt auxiliary power supply there in the center console. I heard that. Okay, now we got uh, antenna to mount, right, Joe? Yep. Okay, oh, he's running it behind the seat. I see what he's doing there. Let's see what he's doing. Okay, antenna's mounted. And. All right. Done. All right, turn the microphone. Let me. Oh, he's going to go turn the timer off. What? You did it a minute and a half. All right, everybody, GMRS radios do require an FCC license, so you will need to get that. The nice thing about it is, is there's no test, and you can use FRS radios to communicate with GRMS radios. Joe, I think we've had enough fun for the day. Mom says dinner's about ready. We gotta pack it up. Okay. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Joseph, thanks for giving me a hand today. You're welcome found this video useful or in some way helpful make sure you pound the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel make sure your notifications are turned on thank you very much for watching and consider subscribing I already said that oh <laughs> don't forget to check out Teespring down below for right line merchandise happy Father's Day to everyone out there all right take care everybody have a great weekend see you next time